Welcome back to the Hurley Pro Trestles. A huge day for that red jersey. They've been dropping like flies. Let's see if Josh Kerr can turn things around. He is the top seed going up against Kanoa Igarashi. Kanoa, on the other hand, he's done very well to avoid round two losses, but he needs to get through some round three heats to get himself up the ratings. Here he goes, driving into this second section. Solid move there, that second turn was strong. Third manoeuvre, roundhouse cutback, bringing it through to the inside for a big finish. A good start to the heat. He's a very solid competitor, this kid. He wants to get past this round, but you called it. Josh has been on a roll. Um, he's been competing so well. Nice flow. You know, Kanoa Igarashi, uh, the youngster, he's just 18 years old, but he serves like a veteran. He always makes great decisions, takes off on bombs, big set waves. Good flow there again, and he, he does a great job of always keeping his board on top of the water, Ronnie. Uh, you know, I rarely see him really get extended away from his board or, uh, you know, kind of lean into a heavy carve that's so risky where he might fall. You know, he's a very consistent surfer, especially at his age. For sure. He's got a lot of growing to do. I had to, I had to choose, like, go or just don't go. But um, I... I I took the decision like in the last second, I saw the wave was such a small wave. There was not a potential for. 22 minutes remaining here and uh, a great start for Kanoa. He did get the jump on Josh Kerr in the second round back in Rio. So Kerr's looking for payback here. As he reels off a nice frontside carve to get started. Goes to that grab rail reverse under the lip. A move that he has made famous in competition. And he's getting some nice sections to play with too. Down the line as he uh, gets a clean little finish there, just kicking the tail over the closeout. 21 minutes remaining. Uh, you know, Josh, one of the smaller athletes on tour, so he can really jam his body into that tight transition. Nice opening carve. Always a fluid surfer. You can see he's late, so he's going to get, you know what? I'm just going to jam this thing in here. And uh, so, you know, it's a very unique move. Andy Irons used to do it back in the day. Uh, Jeremy Flores and Josh, I think, you know, some of the only guys that do it. We saw Joanne Defay pull that maneuver off this, this year on the Goldie. So it's definitely an aggressive move, but it is functional. You know, you can kind of have great reflexes. If you, if you bottom turn and you see that you're too late, the lip is already coming over, you can jam this maneuver in there. So watch the rail, he's gonna grab it. Now he's gonna flip that board upside down and pick the nose. So you can see how crazy that is because he's extremely cramped. He's trapped inside that barrel and flips his board upside down. So, I mean, you talk about being nimble, Ronnie. Had the opportunity to, to get in the shaping bay with Rusty Presendorfer and really refine his equipment to make sure he's got the perfect board for each stop on tour. He spends a lot of time surfing out here in Trestles. And that shows as he picks off a nice looking runner here. Solid start to this ride for Kerr. Still banging away, linking the sections together pretty well. You can see that wind's kicked up, which Josh won't mind as he moves through to the inside now. Ah. Nice little tail waft over the closeout to finish. And so that's why he gave Josh this wave, but it did have a solid line on it. That thing had a, you know, a clean line all the way down the point. So, uh, you know, a pretty big mistake there for Kanoa. And Josh took advantage with a series of maneuvers, a lot of connecting turns because the wave was fast. But you could see how fluid he was. No kinks there. You know, even that little floater was hard to do without looking messy. And then there, he finally got a section to lay down for Ronnie, and he, he kicked his uh, fins out. So pretty solid. Tell me a little bit about just Josh's evolution. Uh, he's worked so hard to, to smooth out his lines over the years. Yeah, he, he really has. This is a, a surfer who's had uh, you know great respect and a lot of concentration on being sort of a trickster and, and getting teched out with airs. And Hold the salary boys. you were earning. Yeah, you might want to have a look out there. Here goes Kainoa now, mate, on a beauty. All right, using priority for this one, driving up into this first section. It's a transition move to get out onto the oh. open face. Just hits a lump on the bottom turn, trying to set up that second maneuver. And as a result, it throws his timing off. I think the application of man-on-man -man surfing, head-to-head uh, -head surfing on both the men's and women's side has really seen just the storylines, Ross, and the performance levels push to another place. Yeah, I mean, it just creates great conflict. You know, it's like it's like tennis or a boxing match. There's just two people out there. That wave did not count. So Kanoa Igarashi up after the hooter. Josh Kerr gets the win, a heat score total of 15.16.
And he's making his way into the fourth round. 